Hi everybody! Welcome back to Desert DIY and if you are new here, my name is Corey. Today we are going to be doing a collaboration with Heidi Sonbull. Oh, there's a bug on me! Of Happily Thriving Heidi and we are going to be decorating our front porches for fall. I don't have a front porch so I'm going to be decorating my side entrance. My home is a ranch home and ranch homes don't usually have big front porches so um, my side entrance will have to do and I'm super excited to decorate it for fall and I hope you like it and here we go. First I'm going to start off by saying I am drinking the best root beer ever. It's a sarsaparilla and it's helping me get into that fall spirit. I don't know, it says Sioux City on it so I'm guessing that's who makes it and where it's from but here in Arizona it's kind of a popular root beer and I just googled it and sarsaparilla is actually not root beer. It's made from a different plant so the more you know. <laughs> the granddaddy of all root beer. <laughs> the sun is setting so I'm just going to clean up tonight and do the most that I can while there's still light out. But I wanted to give you a quick before. We just bought that bale of hay from the feed store and then this bucket I've had for a while my mom gave it to me. But it's kind of a messy situation here. <laughs> And then we have some cleaning to do from that bale of hay and then I probably want to sweep back there and change out my wreath. This wreath was for my summertime decor, although I could totally see it working for a fall theme, just not on the door, like maybe somewhere else, like near my hay bale. Who knows? But I'm going to start cleaning first and then I'll get to decorating.
Starting over here, this big wooden pumpkin is made of pallet wood. I made it last year and painted it white. And you can tell it's pallet wood by the holes in the ends of the wood. The straw bale below my pumpkins is from the feed store. And let me tell you some advice. You should definitely buy your straw bales from an actual feed store instead of Walmart. The tiny ones at Walmart are like $12 or $13. And this one is huge and I think it was like six bucks. And the crate I thrifted, it was a dollar. These pumpkins inside used to be orange and I painted them white and I'll show you right now. But I thrifted this one and this one I bought at Michael's many years ago. The mums I bought at Walmart, they were five bucks for the big one and a dollar twenty-seven for the small yellow ones. And mums grow really fast, so if you want to have cheaper mums, just buy the small ones and they'll grow bigger and bigger. And my galvanized bucket is a gift from my mom. This bench I picked up on the side of the road and painted it orange. The blanket is actually a tablecloth that I got from a thrift store and on the pillow is um, just like the napkin from the table setting and I safety pinned it on and I'll show you how I did that right now. I bought this pillow at Walmart and it's kind of too spring like so I'm just going to pin on this napkin and the matching blanket that's behind me is actually a tablecloth that goes with this napkin. And I'm just going to use safety pins and pin it right on there. Over here I have like a galvanized milk jug and it was $2.50 at Goodwill and I painted the bottom part to be gray just like the top and before it was like a interesting little vegetable motif. <laughs> My pumpkin patch cabinet door chalkboard is actually um, my original cabinets from before I renovated my house and I will show you how I did that right now. I'm going to get a quick little project done where I paint this cabinet with some matte black uh, chalk paint and I use the Waverly brand from Walmart. It's affordable and I like that it's a small jar of it so you can do like quick projects without having to pull out a whole paint can and flat black chalk paint does the same thing as chalkboard paint would but cheaper so I'm going to paint this really quick and this was the original cabinet doors to my kitchen cabinets from the 70s they're solid wood and I knew I would use them later on so I kept them all right my paint has dried and I'm going to go back over it with a piece of chalk and season it, is what they call it, season it <laughs> with this chalk, so. I'm just gonna take a paper towel and just rub it all around. I'm going to use my skills with the chalk pen and I'm going to draw some fall inspired fonts on here. I think I'm going to write pumpkin patch.
I'm not thrilled with how this P turned out, but overall it looks pretty cute. I think I might draw a little pumpkin on the side here. Just a little one. This little watering can was from the dollar store a long time ago and I painted it white and put in some faux corn on the cob that I got from the dollar store also. My pumpkins inside here were uh, about $3.50 for the pack of three at Walmart. And the pine cones I have are from a really sweet neighbor that collected them in their backyard and gave them to me. And then in the top I have some real corn on the cobs and some sparkly pumpkin picks. My wreath is a TJ Maxx find and it was I think $16.99 and I like this color scheme of going with like the natural straw color as well as yellow. I would like to eventually add in some sunflowers to match the inside of my house but I'm happy with this result for now. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. If you have noticed I now have ads on my channel all thanks to my wonderful subscribers, I finally hit that mark where I can start being monetized. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I am so glad to have you all here. It's like a big YouTube family that I have now and I am just so beyond happy. I don't even have the words. But I will see you next time. Bye!